everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravaning. We're, we're going away again, we're in the car, we've got CC on the back and this time we are travelling down to Portsmouth and we are going to get the ferry and we are going over to the Isle of Wight which is, we're really really looking forward to it. The sun's shining, the weather is beautiful, the forecast is good and we are going to take you along with us. Okay, so we'll see you when we get to Southampton. Southampton? Southampton. It is, yeah. No, it's Portsmouth. No, it's, it's Southampton. This is Southampton. <laughs> well, the get, Good job we've got two sat navs going with isn't it? <laughs> we're, going, we're, going to, we're going down south. <laughs> going down down south. south, yeah. Don't take us to Dover, for goodness sake. No, we're going, we're going down south to get the boat across, uh, the ferry across, so. Okay. Um, when we get closer, I think we'll just, uh, show you the way once we get closer. Yeah, okay, catch up again soon. Shining, but look at this traffic. That's the M25 for you. Well, we've literally just spent the last hour crawling through traffic on the M25. Unfortunately, there was a bad accident on there early this morning and they had to close three lanes. It has, it did reopen. I think it was just sheer weight of traffic, wasn't it? Yeah, it had reopened um, a couple of hours ago, but it was literally sheer weight of traffic and uh, the backlog, yeah. I think. But yeah. we, it's so annoying when people cut in as well. I mean, people just cheat, trying to lane change all yeah. the time. And no Traffic's one's going anywhere. Moving, <laughs> and people are like, trying to cut in front of you or... Yeah, so fortunately we've now left the M25, we're on the M3, heading for Southampton, and traffic is flowing freely. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I did say to you, Shell, never say the traffic's all clear. We've got 20 minutes before the ferry goes, and it's showing 21 minutes to get there, and this is what we're up against. Where's that then? Here, right, dock gate seven. Okay, Sorry. Sorry, what did you say? 16. 16, thank you. We made it with, what, three minutes to spare for check-in? That was a horrendous journey. It really wasn't great, and if I'm honest, um, Directions to the actual um, ports were not not really fantastic. Great. We we are uh, we were required to be at dock seven, and all the way through the sort of main drag it says dock you know docks four to ten this way this way, yeah. and then it comes to point it says dock four here dock eight there and there's no uh, signs for seven. No, bit of a mare, but we we managed to get booked in and uh, uh, we're in the queue. And there's quite a few, Got a few caravans, we caravans and uh, <laughs> caravans, and there's a motor home at the end. So uh, yeah, let's just twist you around. You can see what you've got. That's what we're looking at. Uh, beautiful day here at sunny wherever we are. I don't know, Portsmouth, Southampton. Port Southampton. We're, Southampton, you're doing the same. You're doing the same. Do you know what my head is just. I know. Yeah. Do you know what? That's, it's been an extra hour on journey. An extra hour on our journey. Um, I'll just move my thumb. I do apologise. We're so fortunate that we left about an hour. I know. I've got to have another shave now because uh, <laughs> I've grown half a bit. We're worrying. Do you know what? I'd quite like to get on the boat, on the ferry. 
have a nice glass of wine. I so knew you'd say that. We've got to drive on the no. other end, and I'm the navigator. You're, you're, yeah, that's true. Yeah, don't be drinking when you're navigating, because I'm towing a caravan. Yeah, well, we've been up, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. I know, I know. Well, we're here now, that's the most important thing, so um, we're just going to uh, chill. And yeah, we've got to wait about half an hour before the ferry actually boards. departs. And um, then we'll see you on board. We will, we will. Okay, catch you. And we'll try and get uh, a bit just driving onto the uh, ferry as well so you can see what uh, yeah, we're so experiencing. You, yeah, you know what the experience will be like if you decide to try it. It's always worth remembering that uh, when you go on a ferry, um, if your car has a, um, a button that you can switch off the motion sensors, um, try and remember to do that because otherwise the alarm, with the shaking of the boat, um, the alarm will just keep going on and off and on and off and on and off. So just like that, uh, we hear that all the way. Um, so yeah, just if you have got a motion sensor, just switch it off before you leave the car.
wind breeze. <laughs> that was a long day. That was a really long day. Um, in fairness, the journey once we actually got to Southampton was from Southampton to the Isle of Wight was absolutely fine. It, it really was, but it was just getting to Southampton. The M25, was it the M3 or whatever? Yes. It was just one, and Michelle kept saying, oh, this road's clearing now. I said, <laughs> no, don't say that. And as soon as she said it, within three minutes, bang, it's like down to 30, 20, 40 miles an hour. It was just uh, a nightmare. Yeah. The journey, the actual ferry journey, it's actually uh, very pleasant, isn't it? It, it only it, takes yeah. about an hour. Um, I would recommend that even if it's an extremely warm day when you're sitting in your car, bring a cardigan or a jacket with you because when you, if you go up on deck and you're facing the front of the boat, oh. it is incredibly windy and cold. It I mean, really is. The wind yeah. literally takes your breath away, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah, so definitely bring um, a jacket with you. Um, there are stairs as you go in, you know, from the car decks. You have to go climb stairs to get to the upper decks, um, which are particular. They are very steep. You have to you have to wear masks when you're uh, on board inside as well. Yes, you do. So um, just, just going to back to the stairs, masks. there are lifts. Um, if you do have any particular needs and you can't climb the stairs, they do have lifts there as well. There are restaurants and shops and um, yeah, all, all, all COVID secure, hand sanitizers um, everywhere. Um, and the journey goes very quickly. I mean, we, st we stood on top and there was boats. And jet yeah, the jet skis, skis and there's got a lot of people, a lot of boats, and the jet skis were actually followed us all the way to the Isle of Wight. From the literally as soon as we came out of um, Southampton, um, they just followed us all the way across, which was they were really entertaining, very entertaining. <laughs> we were very lucky um, with the uh, weather. So, as Michelle said, the um, the only thing that we would would say is is if you are going to go on 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 deck and just go to the front of the ship um, it, it wasn't a windy day it really wasn't windy but just the, the speed of the, the vessel I suppose but it was so so windy and dogs and everything else just oh yes having... that's the other thing you can bring your dogs on yeah. board as well oh there were some fantastic dogs when they yeah. fell in love with the, all these dogs yeah Coco Loved... <laughs> Coco yeah just great yes so then when, when we arrived um on the Isle of Wight in Cowes, a uh, very easy process coming off. There were some road closures, uh, road works, uh, which kind of made us deviate from our route. Um, but there were diversion signs and we got back on track. And I must admit, I mean, we both thought this. We know at the moment, traveling abroad, it's really not um, an option I mean, yeah. for, for, for most people. But just getting on the ferry and coming to the island, it felt it like really we had did. gone abroad. It did, it did. Yeah. There's something about it, isn't it? You, you're, you're out of England. Well, well um, no, we're still in England, but it was just the fact of going on a ferry and crossing the water. Yeah. Uh, it it, and, and the island, it's beautiful, it's so green and wow. there's so many little chocolate quite box cottages. Hills, quite a few hills on there, weren't there? The, yeah, the, the, yes, the, yes, there are a but, few hills, but they've got these beautiful cottages with thatched roofs and roses around the door. I mean, it is really stunning, absolutely stunning. Yeah. But um, oh, just one more thing before I forget, um, the cost of the ferry. We actually booked the ferry through this... Um, uh, holiday park that we're staying with yeah. and it well we couldn't I mean we tried through the caravan or both the caravan clubs with the, using their discount we tried direct with Red Funnel um, and the, the prices were hugely expensive I mean in fairness we've got a car and a caravan and the caravan is nearly nine meters so you know we are taking up two spaces but when we booked this site they said do you want the ferry and we said well yeah and they they have a discounted rates and oh my gosh it was like hugely discounted it was it was under half of the rate that we were getting so um if you are going to book uh one of the camping sites here just ask them yes yeah you'll, they, you'll um, get a better deal if, if they offer yeah. you um ferry as part of the combined price yeah absolutely and I but think anyway 
I'm exhausted. We're exhausted. It's time for a glass of wine, I think. I think so too. So I think on that note, yes. we shall sign off and yes. uh, say thank you so very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope, we hope you've enjoyed that. It's just a little insight if you're considering coming to the Isle of Wight, what it's like to get the ferry across. Yeah, And getting the ferry, actually, no troubles at all. You don't have to worry about the width or anything like that when you get on board, as we've shown you. Uh, there's people showing, you know, guiding you in absolutely no problem so have no fears it's as easy as driving down a normal road okay right thank you very much indeed for watching we'll see you next time bye bye thank you bye now <laughs>